and a little bit more. What's up, it's Queen Sit, and I am here to review the Simpson My Bandit Helmet. Woo, okay, that's probably pretty hard to hear me. So a good thing this helmet is modular, so you can just click this button and lift it right up. All right, so let's talk about it. Hold that thought. All right, boom. I have been wearing this Simpson Mod Bandit for about seven months. And uh, I thought it was time to do a review on it. So I've been on road trips. This helmet has gone to West Virginia, um, Kansas City, Atlanta, uh, so many different places. And I wanna give my thoughts on it. So the longest trip was 12 hours in this helmet. And a lot of people have been asking me about the helmet. So, you know, I just wanna go over some things, some things I like, some things I don't like about this helmet. So let's start with the things I don't like. Let's talk about that. So. I can tell you right off the bat, one thing I don't like, didn't or don't like about this helmet is the inner visor. So I've already replaced this inner visor. So on the side right here, there's a button and you push this, hold on, and that drops down, all right? And you pull it back up. So as you can see, when I lift it back up, it never really goes in. So sometimes I just push it in, but other than that, once you drop it down that's annoying so when I'm riding my motorcycle I hate that because I always have to push it up so um, I contacted the company uh, Simpson helmets I told them about it and um, they basically were like mailed the helmet in but this is my only helmet um, that I wear so it wasn't realistic for me to mail it in and then have nothing to ride in that's full face because I ride every single day so there's no downtime for me so I would have liked if, you know, some companies will let, uh, mail you the replacement and have you mail the um, defective product back in the box that you received. So I wish they would have did that method. So ultimately I just said, never mind, don't worry about it. All right. So next we have the outer visor. This was clear and of course I had to change it to the dark smoke. All right. Change it to that. Um, I haven't had any problems with the shields. I absolutely like the outer shields. So I guess I'm talking about something that I like. But I like it. Um, you lift it up and it's a click, a click, closed. So when I'm riding, I never had to worry about this falling on me. And if you watch my Instagram videos, Instagram stories, I always keep my visor up because for some reason I like that fresh air even when it's cold. and it never pops down on me. So I absolutely love it. This was really well made. I also like that these things right here, if you wanna change out the visor, all you do is push this button and twist it. Hold on, my nails. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. All right, boom. So you push it in, twist it, and pull it up. And that's it. You do the other side and it pops right out. And then close it, put it back in, and twist it and locks in place. Super easy mechanism to replace the visor, which I absolutely love because if you let me sit down. Because if you're riding and you want to switch this out, say at nighttime you don't want to ride with a darker shield, it takes two minutes, one minute at one minute to change that visor out. Two minutes, two minutes. And you can just change it right out and put the clear visor on for the ride home, but this visor, I can see at nighttime through it. I wouldn't recommend it. My eyes are just different. I can ride with no goggles, with nothing, and I can see. So, um, 
I can even see with dark advisors. For most people, it would probably be too dark, so don't do it. One thing I don't like is that it gets scratched really easy. See all those scratches? But then again, I ride all the time. I've been camping. I toss my helmet. I don't toss it, but I'll set it down on the ground outside. Um, so I'm not like taking amazing care of that outside part. I'll sit it on some rocks. It'll get scratched, I guess. But that's a lot of scratches and I don't know how they got there. This is a dot approved ECE certified. So it's a really good helmet. I've seen a lot of people on Instagram take pictures after accidents and they say like my helmet, my Simpson helmet saved my life. So I think it's a really great helmet for protection. So um, definitely love it. What else I love in the inside is that the cushions are super thick, super soft, easy to take out. It's literally just a snap. Pull that out and it snaps out. So super easy to put my intercom system in there, run the wires through. Um, amazing buckle quality, the strap quality. Nothing has failed on me, nothing has broken. So this stuff is well made the cushions are well made great material no complaints this still looks new no scratches or anything so i even like that little touch of simpson right there so that's really well made um you also have vents in the back right here i i'm gonna be honest and on the back park right here i can't really feel it but maybe i do and just don't know this is a this is one of the best looking motorcycle helmets so i cannot deny that in my opinion this is one of the best aggressive look it's just sexy look at it sheesh this is a dope helmet it has the aggressive look the intimidating look it has the little wing in the back a little lip in the back this is fire this this is one of the best looking helmets i've ever had so i feel confident when i take my instagram pictures with my helmet on I don't feel awkward or I don't know. I'm all about looks too when I take pictures and want to look good on a bike. You know, if we ride and people watching us, I want to look nice, even for myself. So this makes me feel good. So a great looking helmet. You have the vents in the front. Let's talk about the modular. I have a complaint here. So with the modular system, hold on, push that up. With the modular system, this broke on me before so right here it locks in place and uh push it up to lock it and see it really doesn't want to lock so but it's locked but it doesn't click all the way in so for a while i was having trouble i emailed the company they probably got tired of it but i couldn't get it to lock in place and that was i had to go inside I researched some YouTube videos and I had to go inside and kind of tighten some screws and fix it myself and it works. So now it locks, no problem. But for a while, I couldn't do the modular feature because it would just fall down on my face. So amazing helmet. When I'm riding, lift it up at the light, get some fresh air, drop it down when it's time to ride. You go to the gas station, lift the modular up, eat real quick, drink uh, slushies, Flip it down, and um, it's just a really dope helmet. Overall, if this was out of 10, I would give this helmet an eight out of 10, for sure. It, this is definitely an eight out of 10 for me, um, but it's dope. And the only reason I dropped two points were for the two things, the, this part and the shield. I just feel like it's too clunky, like, I don't know, I just feel like it should be smoother. This helmet's about $500, I think. So I just think things should just work a little better. But looks wise, through the clean sit on the back, absolutely love it. Blacked out, like this is one of the top helmets look wise, in my opinion, and safety wise, of course. If you haven't noticed, I'm wearing the new Boda Skins leather jacket. And I'm gonna do a review on this in the next upcoming video so make sure you like subscribe stay tuned because i got the dope dope accessories for your bike dope gear for riding so if you want to follow one of the channels that's going to bring you the heat on the motorcycle make sure you stay tuned like subscribe and uh yeah
super dope jacket, but we're going to review that next time. All right. Shout out to Official on Instagram. Check them out for this dope shirt right here. Hooking your girl up. Oh. So super dope shirts. Shout out to Official. Check them out on Instagram. Check me out on Instagram at Queen Dossip. I appreciate you for watching this video. So now, let's go take a ride on the bike. Let's go. In the comments below, let me know what helmet do you ride with. Drop it in the comments. It's Queen Sit and I'm out. What's up, YouTube? Okay, so to end this vlog, I'm just gonna run into Best Buy. Hang out on my bike. Got some Taco Bell. Free slushy. They messed up on my order, so they were nice to give me a free slushy and a new order. And if you care, let me tell you what I got. I got two bean chalupa supremes. So yeah, I don't eat meat, but I will eat bean Taco Bell. All right.